Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A warm welcome to our secondary age students of LCIC Maktab, as well as everyone else who is watching, mashaAllah. Hope you're keeping well and your families are safe and sound, inshaAllah. Ameen. Boys and girls, today, inshaAllah, we are going to learn about gratitude. How you and I can be grateful in our lives. Today's key topics include what is gratitude in Islam? What do we mean by gratitude? The importance of being grateful as well as the benefits of being grateful, inshallah. Masha Allah, what a beautiful verse and beautifully recited too. This is a very important verse because Allah reminds us everything is from Allah. Whatever blessings we have, all the good that we have, it is all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why it's so important, so important that we be grateful to Allah for everything. Why should we be grateful? Why should we show gratitude? Shukr as we call it in Arabic. Why? Have a think inshallah. At least two reasons why you and I should be grateful and should have gratitude. MashaAllah, Jazakallah khair boys and girls. Let's explore some reasons and benefits for gratitude. Number one, why should we be grateful? Why should we show gratitude? We can never count Allah's blessings. We have to be grateful to Allah because Allah has given us so much. He's gave, given us Iman, belief in Allah. He's given us wealth, health, status, different abilities. And He's given us life, the life that we're living. Allah has given us that. And the amazing thing is, boys and girls, if we were to try counting Allah's blessings, would we be able to compute them? Would we be able to count them? No, definitely not. We can never count Allah's blessings. So we have to, we have to always be grateful for everything Allah has given because the things Allah has given to us is beyond measure. We cannot count them. Another reason did you know shaitan's primary mission, his main mission is to make us ungrateful. It's to make us not appreciate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From the very beginning of humans being created, the issue of gratefulness and thankfulness to Allah has been debated. After refusing to bow down to Adam, what did Shaitan say? He first refused to bow down to Adam and then he said, I will certainly come to people from before, from behind, 
from the right, from the left. And then he actually said to Allah that you will find most of them ungrateful. You will find most of the people ungrateful, unthankful. Subhanallah. May Allah safeguard us. Ameen. So shaitan will always look to make us ungrateful. That is why we should try our very best to not let shaitan get his way. How? By being grateful to Allah. Another reason, gratitude, shukr, leads to Allah's pleasure. Allah will be happy with us, boys and girls, because Allah has told us in the Quran, and the Prophet wasallam have told us, has told us in hadith many times that gratitude results in Allah being happy with us. For example, in Surah Zumar, Allah says that if you are grateful, Allah is pleased with you, subhanAllah. What more can we want than for Allah to be pleased with us? Alhamdulillah. Another reason why we have to show gratitude and be grateful because true worship, real worship, equals thankfulness to Allah. It equals thankfulness to Allah. Subhanallah. Because Allah said in Surah Baqarah, Be grateful to Allah if it is Him you worship. Meaning, if we worship Allah, then we should be grateful to Allah too. That is a sign that we worship Allah. That also means that if we aren't grateful to Allah, that is a possible sign that we're not worshipping Allah properly. So, true worship equals, at the same time, being thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wow. Number five, and this is very important, boys and girls. We don't thank Allah because Allah needs our thanks. No, no. If we are ungrateful to Allah, it doesn't affect Allah. Allah doesn't need our gratitude. But we need to be thankful for our own selves. Allahu Akbar. We, if we become grateful, then that means we have taken the first step towards being a true believer. Subhanallah. So never think to yourself that by you being grateful to Allah, it is helping Allah. No, it is helping yourself, boys and girls, inshallah. Another reason, gratitude is a quality of success in this life and in the hereafter and in the akhirah. There's a beautiful hadith, a beautiful saying of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, there are four qualities. Whoever is given these four qualities has truly been given the best in this world and the next, i.e. the Akhirah. What are those four qualities? Number one, a grateful heart. A heart that is thankful to Allah. When you and I are thankful to Allah for everything He has given to us, that is such an amazing quality. Which means we have a quality which is the best quality to have in this world. A grateful heart. What, what are the other qualities? Number two, a remembering tongue. A tongue that mentions Allah often. Number three, an enduring body. We be strong. We persevere through trials. We try our best to please Allah. We don't be lazy when it comes to worshipping Allah. That is such an amazing quality to have. And number four, 
Another amazing quality to have, a faithful spouse, a faithful partner whereby we help each other in remembering and pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these four qualities are qualities. If you and I have them in our life, they are the best qualities to have in this world and in the Akhirah, as the Prophet said in this hadith. From the four qualities, one of them is a grateful heart, a heart which shows gratitude, thankfulness, insha'Allah. And inevitably, boys and girls, gratitude leads to an increase in Allah's favours. When we are grateful, Allah gives us more and more and more. That is Allah's promise. In the Quran, Allah mentions, if you are grateful, I will surely give you more. You have five pounds on you and you are grateful for having that five pounds. Allah will make it such that you will be able to do more with that five pounds than before. But if you're ungrateful, you will not have any blessings in that five pounds. You have a plate of food in front of you and you're grateful for that plate of food. That plate of food, Allah will give so much blessings in that plate of food. That will be sufficient for you. Allah will give you more as a result in terms of blessings and sustenance, inshaAllah. So always remember that boys and girls, when we are grateful, Allah will give you more. Meaning, Allah will give you more blessings in that. And later on even, Allah will give you more. So you're grateful for that five pounds. Later on, Allah will give you even more wealth and provisions. You're grateful for that plate of food. Later on, Allah will give you much more provisions and sustenance, inshaAllah. That is Allah's promise. So always be grateful. Allah will increase and give you more. Now, we've mentioned the term gratitude a lot in this session. How can we show gratitude to Allah? What can we do to say thank you to Allah? What can we do to show gratitude to Allah? Have a think, inshallah. What are the ways to express gratitude in Islam? Allah Jazakallah khair. Let's explore some ways. These you may have discussed and thought of yourself. One way of showing gratitude to Allah is by saying Alhamdulillah regularly. Even other tasbihat like Subhanallah, Allahu Akbar. These are ways of us showing gratitude to Allah. So one, Alhamdulillah, say Alhamdulillah regularly, SubhanAllah, because that makes us be thankful to Allah. We are praising Allah. We're saying all praise is for Allah because He's given us everything, inshaAllah. So always try and say Alhamdulillah, no matter what the situation, say Alhamdulillah. Because scholars have explained, boys and girls, there are three ways to express gratitude. One is shukr of the tongue, which we've just said, involves saying things like Alhamdulillah. Another way is shukr and gratitude of the heart, which is in, achieved by thinking good of Allah, thinking good of Allah's creation, always having positive thoughts, always thinking good of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah's creation. And a third is shukr and gratitude of the limbs of our body, which is fulfilled 
by us using our body in such a way that it pleases Allah. Allah has given us our limbs so we use it to make sajda. We use it, we use our legs to walk to things that Allah is happy for us to walk towards. Allah has given us hearing and we use that hearing by listening to things that Allah is happy for us to listen to. Avoiding music, avoiding things which Allah is displeased with. So that's shukr of the limbs, using our limbs for reasons that Allah is happy for us to use, inshaAllah. So these are ways to show gratitude to Allah. Another way of showing gratitude to Allah is by being patient and still remaining thankful even during difficult times. When things are tough, boys and girls, when we're finding things a bit difficult, even then we show gratitude to Allah. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, how wonderful is the case of a believer. There is good for a believer in whatever happens to them. If blessings comes our way, if we are blessed with a lot of things, what do we? What should we do? We should be grateful, show shukr, show gratitude. But when difficulties come our way, what should we do? We should be patient, be content with what Allah has put our way and try our best to overcome it. Don't give up. So being patient, even in difficult times, not giving up, that is also a way of us showing gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, insha'Allah. Also, another way, boys and girls, of us showing gratitude, when it comes to worldly matters, look at those who have less than you. You've got nice trainers. Look at those who don't have shoes to wear. Don't look at those who have the light, latest Nike Air Max or who have the latest Jordans. Look at those who don't even have basic footwear in some parts of the world. Be grateful for the trainers you have. Be grateful for the, for the trousers and the, tra and the trainers and the shirts and the t-shirts. Be grateful for everything you have. Don't start getting greedy. Don't start being ungrateful. When your parents buy you a pair of shoes or a piece of clothing, don't be ungrateful and think, what's this? This isn't that design or that color or this pattern. Be grateful. Why? In worldly matters, look at those who have less than you. Think of those who don't have a choice. Think of those who can't afford. Think of those who don't have the basics. Subhanallah. We have nice water, cold water to drink. There's many people who don't have clean water to drink. Be grateful. Be grateful. So always look at those who may have less than you. Think about those who may have less than you and be grateful for whatever little you and I have, inshaAllah. Don't be ungrateful. And lastly, boys and girls, the very first chapter of the Quran, Surah Fatiha. Because you know in the Quran, Allah talks a lot about shukr and gratitude. But in the very first chapter, what does it start with? Can you read the verse of the first Surah in the Quran? In, when the Quran is, when we open the Quran, what is the first verse? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Praise be to Allah. Wow. That just shows how important it is to be grateful to Allah. As soon as we open the Quran, it's there. Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Let's watch a video, boys and girls, where we summarize the importance of being grateful to Allah and how we have to be grateful to Allah for absolutely everything insha'Allah. Let's have a watch. <laughs>
If you attempt to enumerate the ni'mah of Allah, you will never enumerate it. Now, just look at one ni'mah. Look at the ni'mah, for instance, of the eye. This is one ni'mah. First of all, think about this. Blinking. Just think about blinking. You don't even notice that you blink. Now, if you didn't blink, did you ever see pictures of the richest man, one of the richest men in the world? He had to have band-aids holding up his eyelids because he lost the muscle that returned the eyelid. So you think of that, you know, is the blessing of just eating and the fact that you digest it. You don't have to tell your hydrochloric acid to be released. You don't have to push any buttons here. Really, you eat something, and if it's protein, then it sends in, it breaks down the proteins down to amino acids, and then your body reassembles them as protein. If it's fats, it breaks it down to fatty acids, then your body reassembles them. Who do you think's maintaining your body at 98.6 right now? There's a hadith that says, Yunadi munad in yawm al-qiyamah, then a group of people, and they're, they're told to enter into paradise. And they ask the, the Prophet ﷺ, Man al-hammadun, who are these people? He said, They're the ones that are always thanking Allah, no matter what their condition is. So people used to know that. People don't know that anymore. They've forgotten that. Just the ni'mah of, of the houses we live in. Think about that. Really, the ni'mah of the houses we live in. The ni'mah of water. The ni'mah of food on our table. The ni'mah of clothes to cover our nakedness, to keep us warm. The ni'mah of a bed. You know, the ni'mah of being healthy that you got up this morning and you weren't sick yeah. human yeah. beings start becoming oppressive when they start feeling independently wealthy it's it's just psychology that's why a wealthy person that's humble is something very high in allah's sight because the nature of and that's the way a lot of people are out there they're just arrogant you know, they're really arrogant there's people out there they think they own the road this little contingent creature that is totally dependent for every breath for every instant on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he thinks he's independent. Yeah. What has deluded you about your Lord? The heartbeat, what activates it? An electrical impulse. Who's activating it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you think it's your brain? It's not your brain. God is so great that God will even allow somebody that denies him to exist. I mean, that's greatness. <laughs> He'll feed him. Nurture him, give him rain, keep his body healthy, give him a wife, children that love him. Allah will do all of that and that person denies God's existence. All that does is it, it shows the greatness of God. MashaAllah, hope you found that very beneficial boys and girls. That brings us to the end of this week's session. Uh, may Allah make us all grateful. May Allah make us all thankful for everything we have. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.